Yes, Jed. Say welcome to camp, everybody. What's over there? Let's see what's over there. <clears throat> She's just all wound up today, huh? All right, so we are just a little bit away from the house for the night. <clears throat> As you can tell, you can probably hear the cars going down the road. <laughs> We are going to set up, what are you looking at? There's just so much going on. We're going to set up the bug net tonight. And I was actually debating on if I was going to do it because it's been kind of windy today. It's been cooler. The bugs weren't too bad walking out here, but yeah, I'm getting bit up, so I think we're going to end up needing it tonight. Alright. That's the first thing I got to do. The bugs are horrible. Alright, so what I did was... This is... Kind of a custom deal. I, 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 I've made this myself. But it's real easy. And I'm going to tell you guys how to do it. You know, it's not as fancy as like the MSR systems or the Eureka system. Like, and those are awesome. I wish I had the money to afford one. But let's be honest, those are expensive. A lot of us out here doing this stuff are on a budget. So what are some budget ways we can do this? This is one of them that I found. I went to Walmart and I bought one of the UST 10 by 10 bug houses. And I tied it up in my house by two of the corners so that it made a triangle and then I cut one whole side of it off. And now I've got an A-frame shaped bug house that's not as big as the UST is to carry around because it's kind of bulky. And I mean, you guys saw this thing packs up. I can almost, I can just get my hands in here. It's, it's pretty small. Here's my chill gorilla tarp for comparison. You know, the bag is like three quarters of the size. And you could even take ropes and compress it down more. And then, where did I toss them? I use, I guess I like night eyes, little night eyes gadgets. But these are night eyes. I don't remember what these are called, but they're like a little ratchet clip kind of deal. You slip the rope through the hole. Yeah. You put the rope through the hole on this side. And then it comes through that hole and you feed it down. Let's see if I can balance enough to show you that. Uh, my legs are tired today. You feed it this way. And then it grabs the rope. They're pretty cool. I'll show you once I get it strung up. Alright, 
And then I take those little night eyes clips and I put those on my little corner loops. So once it's on the little corner loop, flip it onto this side. I'm trying to do this looking through the camera screen. <laughs> so you go through this hole and it comes out the other side. And you're on that little ratchet thing. You just pull your rope. And then it cinches down that way. And you can still pull it through this way. And to release that, you come over here to this little tab. Yep. Sometimes. Oh wait, that's right. You just push on this. The little wheel. You push back on that wheel. And it frees up. Right here, that tab. So yeah. That's how those little night eyes work. And they only weigh a couple grams, so... Hey. Go ahead and take this one up. Flip it to this one. And then pull that tight. And not, it don't need to be super tight because this isn't a very strong bug net. The other two loops serve as the tie out or the stake down points for the back. Let me make a couple steaks and I'll show you guys that here in a minute. There's the bug shelter. And I'll show you what I do. This front does not stake down anywhere. So that I can lift that up like through the day. And then I stake that down, that corner, with one of the loops that I left in the net itself. This would actually be the top of the net, is the back side of this. So I stake that down. And then we come over here, I stake that one down, and then as you can see, I put my emergency blanket down as the floor. And to get in and out, it if you just throw it over itself, it stays closed. I mean, you have to really kind of jiggle it around for it to open. But just pull that open, climb right in. Close her off again. That's how I do it. Now, I realize if it gets windy, you know, what are you going to do? Um, weight the corners down with rocks? I have to pack minimal. If there's no rocks around, then I guess I'm sticking a stick through one of the, the fabric in the corner. It's alright with me for now. This gets me outdoors. Budget. Sometimes you have to. Alright. I'm gonna get my gear in there and get the tarp strung up. We got the shelter. 
getting the tarp all set up for the night. And I set my tarp up in like an Adirondack style to help block some of the wind. It's kind of hung up in a diamond shape and then you fold the back underneath of itself. And then corners being staked out like that help deflect the wind. So the main trick of your fire pit is you want it one step away from the edge of your shelter or your tarp. I have little steps, so we'll take a big one. Beautiful assortment of rocks. out of breath guys <laughs> all right we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, you'll go. It's a slow start. But it's getting there.
So for dinner tonight, we have, that's breakfast tomorrow, there's coffee, sugar, creamer, a little bit of olive oil, Starkist Chicken Creations Zesty Lemon Pepper. It's like a tuna pack, but chicken. And the Nor Fiesta Sides. This one's the Mexican rice. What else do we have in here? Gummies, because I got a four year old and I steal his snacks. <laughs> uh, oats and honey granola bar. Peanut butter crunchy granola bar. Pancakes for tomorrow. And syrup for my pancakes. That's what the olive oil's for, so I can cook these. Now these say that you have to use one tablespoon vegetable oil. Well, this one actually says vegetable oil or margarine or butter. So we'll use a little bit of the olive oil since that little bottle is like two ounces. And I only need a little bit for pancakes in the morning. And I have found that if you're backpacking solo, you can get two meals out of one of these packages. At least I can, because I eat double servings of everything. All right. Mmm, yeah. There we go. Mix that chicken in there. So you'd actually cook a whole one of those packs in one of these Stanley Cups, guys. I had doubts. <laughs> Fire roaring. My signature long log sticking out of it. Gonna enjoy us some dinner. Well, I do have to say that the uh, chicken and rice was a, a pretty good combination. Took my hat off because I'm getting hot. We went and refilled the water. Then as we're sitting here, a bunch of deer come walking up behind the shelter. Now the dog is very intent. <sighs> it's a little warm out here. Bugs aren't too bad yet though. And tonight, the coffee is cowboy style. With the grounds right in the cup. Yeah. Getting there. A little bit more to go.
Mm-hmm. Hey, get that light out of my eyes. My bad. So as I'm sitting here waiting on the coffee grounds to settle, let's talk about some pluses to setting up a tarp like the way that I did in that Adirondack style. What it does is it blocks the wind coming from either side. Either side? <laughs> yeah. And then, with the fire being where it's at, a step away from the front of it, the, like the opening or the edge of my tarp, all of the heat from that fire, like I can feel it on my back. My back is nice and toasty. So it circulates all that warm air. And brings all of it, keeps it all behind me. We're nice and warm in here. There's a pork chop girl. There's the pork chop girl. Yeah. So yeah, I keep bumping my head on the back of my thing, but that's okay. It's a nice night out here. Traffic's not too bad. It's not real loud. Just nice and relaxing. Can you see the fire in my glasses? That's cool. Get a fire. Waiting on my cowboy coffee. I'll tell you guys right now. I'm a huge coffee lover. This is by far some of the best coffee I've ever made. Folgers Black Silk is what we're drinking today, boys and girls. Cowboy style. All right, everyone. I stocked the fire up one last time for the night. It's nice and warm under this little tarp setup that I got going on. That or the dog's putting off a lot of body heat, but I'm gonna guess it's warm from the fire. So, it's about 10.45. So, 